To create this design, you need to add a cylinder and I will go with the 16 words. Then rotate this cylinder into 90 degree and then scale it down and then go to the edit mode, select these words and connect vertex pair. Then add a bevel on this edge, add center segment and then select these faces and delete them. Now select these words and move them along the z-axis. Then apply the rotation, turn on the wireframe, then select everything, make symmetrize, take the symmetry along the z-axis. Now select everything and need to extrude it and move it along the y-axis. Then you need to add one more cylinder with the 16 words, then scale it down and give the proper position to these two objects in this way. Then select this object, select these faces and extrude them and move them along the y-axis. Select this cylinder, select this face and extrude it along the z-axis. Now these two objects are overlapping each other. Then select this face and extrude it and move it along the y-axis. Now select both the objects, apply the rotation on them and then use the boolean operation union. Then apply the boolean modifier and delete the cutter object. Then go to the edit mode, select this edge loop and control X to dissolve it. Then select these words and merge them at the center. Then turn on the X-ray mode, select everything, mesh symmetrize, take the symmetry and then delete one half of the model. Then you can see from the inner side, select this face and delete it. Select these words and merge them at the last, so you can avoid that overlapping. And then select this word, then merge this word also. Then select everything and press M and merge by distance. And now you can see you are getting right form at there. Then use the knife tool and create straight cuts like this along the z-axis. Then select these faces and delete them. Then select this edge loop and E to extrude it, move it along the z-axis. Then S, Z, scale it along the z-axis. Then you need to create a cut at here. Then select these faces and delete them. Now dissolve this edge loop. Then select this edge and press F to fill the gap. Then add new edge loop at here. Now select these words and merge them at last like this. Then dissolve these words. Then select edge loop and press F to fill the gap. Then use the knife tool and create supportive cuts like this. Then use the edge slide on this edge. Then select these words and Ctrl B add bevel on them. You will face difficulty. First use the merge by distance. If it's not solved, then check the face orientation. Select everything and press Alt N and recalculate the normal. Then dissolve this edge loop. Then select these words and merge them at the last. Then dissolve this edge loop also. Then select this edge loop and Ctrl B add bevel on them. Add 4 segment bevel. Then use the knife tool and create this kind of supportive cuts to maintain that form and to create that right topology. Then you need to add one rounded cube and go with four subdivisions. Then select that first object, then select this word and snap 3D cursor to it. Snap your rounded cube to that 3D cursor and then scale it down and then go to the edit mode. Then select one third of the model and delete it like this. Then select this face and delete it. Now select both the objects and join them. Then add two loop cuts at here. And then select these words and merge them at last, like this. And then select these words and S and Z and scale them along the Z axis. Just try to maintain the good curve form at there. Then select this edge loop and use the set flow on them. Then select this bottom edge loop and press F to fill the gap. Then use the knife tool and create this kind of cuts. You will get this kind of form. Now select all these edge loops and use the set plot on them. Just to maintain good form. Then create cut at here. Then select this edge loop and Ctrl B add bevel on them. Add two segment bevel and shape factor should be one. Then select these words and use the edge slide on them and try to maintain even distance in between these edge loops. Then dissolve this edge, select these words and merge them at last. Same thing, dissolve this edge, select these words and connect them. Then dissolve this center edge. Then hit the control 2 and add sub modifier and shade smooth it. 
then use the knife tool and create straight cut like this then dissolve this edge loop then select this edge loop and add bevel on it add four segment bevel and give the proper bevel width then use the knife tool and create this kind of supportive structure create supportive cuts and try to maintain good topology then dissolve these edges then select these words and merge them at the center and dissolve these edges like this then select these words and merge them at last then delete this bottom face and delete this side face also then select these words and merge them at last then I'm going to turn on the matte cap view then add one loop cut here and S, Z and scale it along the Z axis then add another loop cut at here then dissolve this edge loop and add new loop cuts at there add new loop cuts here then snap the origin to 3D cursor and set the origin to the geometry and then take symmetry along the Y axis then select this edge loop and press F to fill the gap apply the scale and use the insert operation and delete the face then select the edge loop and use the face grid fill then select this edge loop and control B add bevel on it add one segment bevel then select this edge loops and add bevel on them add two segment bevel with shape factor 1 then select this bottom edge loop and press F to fill the gap and repeat the same steps use the grid fill add there like this then select the edge loop and add bevel on it and there you go in this way you can create this kind of design you can see the topology you can see the form so that's it for today thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to the channel bye bye next video take care